Hey guys, Cameron over at 816 Diesel, bringing you a semi warm start walk around video today. Uh, we drove the truck, we're down here, downtown Kansas City in the West Bottoms where the shop is. Uh, but you can see we got a little snow on the ground, it's 35 degrees out. The truck's been driven today, is what it is. That's how we're starting it. We're gonna be going through the condition, checking it out inside and out, showing you all the goodies going on. Uh, but you know, with these Amarillos, We've sold a couple of them over the last year here and we build them all the same 22 by 12 mayhem wheels nice leveling kit paint to match accessories they really look sharp they sell quick so this is a i believe one owner truck and it's been used as a truck i'm going to be going through the condition with you today when we start it up it's like i said not cold so but we are going to be starting it up checking it out going over everything black leather seats what's really makes this truck is these embroidered amarillo black leather seats special amarillo center console cover the trucks come loaded with a sunroof nice gauges all the cool accessories really sharp truck so let's hop up in here kind of check out the view from the cockpit and on the miles you can see oh of course it went off give me a sec here two five six one three seven on the miles and like i said that truck is warm we drove it about a mile to where we're at fires right up runs great runs strong egr delete stock truck quarter million miles pretty textbook 6.0 like i said i'll have to double check i think it is a one owner rig and i'm not positive um loaded up six disc in dash digital climate control ac four wheel drive a little cell phone holder on there it's got your upfitter switches trailer brakes loaded steering wheel with the hvac controls radio controls all the good stuff power windows power mirrors power locks and like i said it all works like it should sunroof's nice doesn't leak had some rain on this bad boy it's got an aftermarket alarm with remote start um i believe the fob is in the glove box yeah it is fob's in the glove box i don't know anything about it if it works looks like it's all hooked up right but i haven't messed with it i don't know anything about those aftermarket alarms heat works amazing good lord it is hot um we serviced the truck it's got an egr delete stock head bolts um we serviced the front end did a uh, ball joint track bar ball joint new track bar tire rods alignment three inch leveling kit uh, we did quite a bit to it and i'm going to be the first to tell you guys this truck with 250k it's been worked you know it's not a new amarillo it's not from the south uh, i believe it's from the north a little bit uh, it has some rust we've covered a lot of it up just because it's still a great truck you know it runs and drives solid the interior is almost immaculate i mean the black leather isn't roached out you got a little bit of ruffle on the armrest but i mean all in all look how nice it is this truck is super clean on the inside so it is what it is i'm gonna try to do my best to point it out to you today so i can convey the condition of this truck i'm not trying to mislead anybody you know it's got some paint blemishes it's got some dings it's got some touch up it's got some rust it is what it is and i want you guys to be um, understanding and aware of the condition so that way you don't think i'm trying to hoax a, a truck buy on you so let's pop the hood start under the hood and We'll kind of work our way around the body. Like I said, under the hood, uh, truck's not tuned, no head bolts. The EGR has been deleted, which by now you see a lot of that. Dirty the way we got it. And one thing I'll show you is the degas has a lot of dust on it, which is what I like to see because if it's pushing coolant, you'll see that coolant bleeding off all around the dust, making like a weird mud. So it's actually nice to see this degas container in this condition with a good coolant level and a nice soft pliable hose so we drove it and like i said it's at op temp so no head issues which is great with a six liter uh two newer batteries in it i'll check it for blow by i don't remember how this one looks it's got a little bit of blow by nothing major more condensation on a cold day but you see i put that cap over it's not bouncing or doing anything funny so 
Truck has a little bit of blow by, which is common for a 250,000 mile truck. One ding, I'm gonna say I can show you on the front bumper here. We do have in the chrome here, I don't know, just pulling up too close to something, gave it a little push in, nothing, nothing major. Could probably be pulled out pretty easy. Uh, Harley Davidson headlights. Uh, it's got the smoke in the rain mirror visors and one up on the sunroof too. Uh, three inch leveling kit, which is what we do to all these six O's and seven threes that we bring in. We service suspension and do a three inch leveling kit. Wheels are Mayhem Arsenal 22 by 12s, uh, negative 51 offset with a 35, 12, 50, 20 tire, 22. Uh, Cali terrain grip, or excuse me, Ant terrain grip retire with a 40,000 mile warranty. Starting on the body here, you can see right here above my fingers, there's some touch up on here. And like I said, this truck does have some bed liner on here as well. Bear with me, we got a, a train, friendly neighbor coming in. But back to the paint. Right there. About a dime size spot of touch up. Yep, we hear you, buddy. <laughs> Loud and clear. All right, so that's about a dime size. Sorry, guys. Got a dime size spot of touch up right there. You got a little dinger right there. I mean, you can't even see that on there. Um, it's got the keypad on it. Here's another one. It's this little finger size spot of touch up there. And as I back up, so you can see in relevance how big these two are. They're not huge, but they are worthy. I mean, there's a little bit of paint missing there, so it is what it is. Going in the back seat, it does have the folding tote trays, which a lot of these trucks do. Super nice though, good condition. Doesn't look like that one was used much. Back seat's in good shape. Windows are all tinted on this bad boy, 20%. So getting down on the rockers, they got bed liner on them. I'm sure they had some rust. It's been touched up. Kind of is what it is on this truck, guys. I'm trying to show you the condition. It's still a lot of truck for what it is, but there is some rust. Let's have that sweet gas door cover. Paint to match fender flares, screaming yellow. Now the bed rails, they're not completely roached out. As you can see, let me try to focus for you. There you go. I mean, they're rusty, but they are not shattered and gone. They still have some strength to them, so. This truck, it does not have, and it's just got a bed mat in it. Came in it when I got it. I don't, it does not have a fifth wheel hitch on it. Here's another one of those dime size body dings it's been touched up as well amarillo decals they come factory with that chrome trim on the bottom so on the back not a lot to report normal condition as far as tailgate goes another one of these little dings right there you got some little tiny chips around the edges just for being worked and stuff Nothing major though. Did smoke the tail lights on it and we did the third brake LED smoke to match the black headlights. I know we do it on every truck. You have a little ding down here, a little crease under this light where it's backed up into something. Chrome tip on the exhaust. Looking at this bedside, pretty straight. I don't see any dings as far as it goes. Most of them are on that driver's side. Packster side actually looks pretty nice. There's some cancer on that bed rail. I mean, it's got, it had some rust. It's got some rust, so. I'm just trying to make sure you guys know what you're getting into here.
but all in all, still a good truck. 250k on a 6.0 as long as it's been taken care of, which this one clearly has been. Still a lot of life left in the truck. Still a beautiful truck. These Amarillo packages, if you look them up, they had to be special ordered. They charge quite a bit more just for paint, so getting harder to find them. People usually just don't let go of them very often, simply is what I find. I mean, they're out there, but not thick. Owner's manual, everything, key. Got the center caps for the front uh, wheels to cover up the hubs. We did paint to match on the mirrors, the 08 style and up mirrors with the smoke lenses. Super good look, just kind of brings it all together. Cut out some of that black plasticky look. That's pretty much it, guys. Head on over to the website, 816diesel.com, if you're interested in this truck. Everything I covered today is going to be on the website. Uh, pricing, VIN number, modifications, pictures, anything you're going to need. Uh, if you need to check out with your bank, all the info they need over there to give you a yay or nay on a loan is going to be found at 816diesel.com. If you got any questions or if you want to come check it out, my name's Cameron. Uh, my phone number is the text line, 913 735 3748 shoot me a text give me a call that's my cell phone directly let me know if you have any questions or if you want to come check it out uh, again we sold a few of these amarillos and they don't last long so let me know how i can help guys i appreciate your time as always if we don't see you again have a merry christmas and a happy holiday